A taxi driver has been stabbed to death in a brutal random killing outside the Fitzroy police station. Mohammed Mukhtar was walking the short distance to his home when he was attacked and left in the street to die. His father stumbling across the crime scene when he went to search for his missing son. Mohammed Mukhtar's killer has no fear of police. The 31-year-old was viciously attacked barely 50 metres from the Fitzroy police station. They stabbed in front of a police station. And the funny part also, he, no one could save his life in front of a police station. So how, if you don't be safe in front of a police station, where are you going to be safe? Around 11.30, Mohammed parked his father's taxi after finishing his shift. He was walking the short distance to the flat he shares with his parents when he was stabbed in the upper body and left to bleed to death. His father, Mukhtar, later retraced his son's steps. He finished his job and they killed him. Police and paramedics were called but couldn't help Mohammed. His mobile phone and wallet were found next to his body. I think it's more likely uh, uh, random in the sense of an opportunist. He's seen, seen him get out of the taxi at the end of his shift, probably working on the assumption he's got money. Mohammed's father found out about his son's death in the worst possible way. He'd been searching for him in his taxi when he came across the crime scene and police delivered the devastating news. Mohammed had been driving taxis for 13 years. He had an exemplary driving record since moving to Australia from Somalia as a refugee. Very, very sad. He was a very young boy, very social, talented. It was a good goal. Yeah. It's known that he spent part of his shift last night at the airport. He was on his own when he left the taxi. And Cameron Bow joins us now from police headquarters. Cameron, do police know who they're looking for? Well, Mitch, detectives are still working to identify the killer or killers. It's known Mohammed suffered multiple stab uh, wounds and had no chance to defend himself. Now, police are also seeking to track down a man who was seen running away from the area around the time of the attack. He, it's believed he is Caucasian, about 183 centimetres tall, with a slim build and has fair shoulder-length hair. So, Mitch, anyone with any information is being urged to contact Crime Stoppers.